Utah Company is helping NASA in its mission to explore deep space. Some of their technology will be sent into the moon's orbit as part of um, as a part of Artemis rocket launch, which is next week. New specialist Mike Anderson joined us live now to explain their role. Mike. Yeah, Mike, you know, Space Dynamics Laboratory located here on the Utah State University campus is known in part for their satellite technology, but next week some of their technology will be sent to the moon's orbit to help with some missions that will better help astronauts return there and beyond. Artemis stands ready. With the Artemis rocket being prepared at Kennedy Space Center, excitement is building over the future of NASA's return to the moon, eventually moving on to Mars. Absolutely, yeah, we'll be watching the launch very closely. Tim Nielsen, a program manager at Space Dynamics Laboratory, or SDL, says it's a big deal for him and hundreds of others here. While the main mission is improving the ability of the Orion spacecraft up top there to take humans to the moon, there will be much more going up with it. So this is a model of a 6U CubeSat. Uh, this gives you an idea of the size of each of the 10 CubeSats that's being dispensed by Artemis. Five of those Cube satellites will have SDL's deep space radio known as IRIS, a technology that has become much smaller over the years and better. You couldn't package so much technology into such a small uh, cube here, um, but with this we're able to send uh, a large volume of data down to the ground. Among those satellites are one that will help look for evidence of water, another that will help map the moon's craters. The NEA Scout will be able to use its solar sail to encounter near-Earth asteroids. And then there's BioSentinel that will take a look at deep space radiation. It's really a biological experiment that will help them uh, better understand how it affects humans um, that are up on orbit possibly going to the moon, possibly going to Mars someday. All of these missions and others helping build a foundation for the future of manned exploration. It takes a lot of people to bring together a big project like this, and we're glad to be part of it. And yeah, so all of those uh, satellites mentioned there will use SDL's technology to kind of talk back and forth with ground control and uh, send large packets of, of data. The launch set for next week. Back to you. Exciting stuff. Mike, thanks. And to celebrate the Artemis launch, the Clark Planetarium is hosting a first-of-its-kind immersive live stream of this historic launch. On Monday, you can watch a launch live in their Hanson Dome Theater. You just got to get there before liftoff at 6.30 in the morning. Tickets are free. You can register on Clark Planetarium's website.